Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Rodolfo Lobo. I am a PhD student at the University of Campinas and with Professor Marcos Valle. We have carried out this research as part of my thesis work that has been supported in part by CAPES. This work is called Ensemble of Binary Classifiers Combined Using a Recurrent Correlation Associative Memories. This presentation is divided in six main sections. The first part is a brief introduction of this work, motivations and objectives. In the second part, we present some basic concepts on recurrent correlation associative memories. In the third part, we summarize the main ideas on binary classifiers. In fourth part, we present a new model. Fifth part contains the computational experiment and preliminary results. And finally, the conclusions. So let's begin. Our motivation is the potential of associative memory models working as ensembles because they have a similar weighted sum structure like other ensemble classifier methods. Because of this, we propose 1. To combine classifiers using associative memory models, in particular, recurrent correlation associative memories that I am denoting by RCAM. 2. We show that RCAM based classifiers can be viewed as a majority vote classifier with dynamic weights, depending on the similarity between base classifiers and the resulting methods. Three, finally, we implement some computational experiment to confirm the potential application on the RCAM based ensemble method for binary classification problems. Now, I'm going to present a brief review of recurrent correlation associative memory models. RCAM has been introduced by Chiwe and Goodman in the 90s for the storing and recall of n bits binary patterns. Briefly, an RCAM is obtained by decomposing the Hopfield network with heavy learning into a two layer recurrent neural network. The first layer computes the inner product, then is applied a non decreasing continuous activation function. Then we have a weighted average of the stored items to finally apply a nonlinear function. In this particular case, the signum function for real numbers. In this diagram, we can observe the previous details. Here we have a matrix vector multiplication. Then in second layer, we apply this continuous non-decreasing function. And in the output layer, the weighted average is represented by this matrix vector multiplication and finally we apply the signum function. Formally, given the binary set B and the continuous non-decreasing real function F, we want to store a fundamental memory set denoted here by U. The RCAM model can recall a memory element given as an input a corrupted version of one of these fundamental memories. Equations 1, 2, and 3 generate a sequence of bipolar vectors which converge to a memory element. W are the synaptic weights. A is the activation function, and 3 is the evolution equation, which updates the ith neuron state if the activation is different from 0. The F function defines different RCAM models. We can use the identity function, and in this case we recover the bipolar Hopfield neural network. Also, we can use an exponential function or a potential function. In this work, we use in particular the exponential function given by equation 4. Now, I'm going to present a brief review on ensemble classifiers. Ensemble learning is a way of generating various base classifiers from which a new classifier is derived, which performs better than any constituent classifier. So, in this sense, we train a, gro a group of base classifiers using a rule to mix their responses to obtain a better performance. Diversity between the base classifier is essential, because if the average classification error rate for one instance is less than 15% and the base classifiers in the ensemble are in independent in the production of their errors, then the expected error for that instance can be reduced to zero as the number of base classifiers goes to infinity. 
when majority voting is used for integration. These methods reduce the variance by combining multiple predictors and has been applied to a wide range of problems, including classification. Some of these methods are bagging, fasting, random subspace, boosting, and stacking. Now, what is a majority voting classifier? Let be H1 to HP base classifiers. The majority voting classifier, also called the hard voting classifier, is given by equation 7, where i is the indicator function which takes the value 1, when the base classifier takes the value c, one correct class, class value, or 0 otherwise. In the bipolar case, the majority voting symbol classifier can be written alternatively by equation 8. Let us now present the notation of this word. Calligraphic t is the training set, where each ti are vectors of features and the di the corresponding class. x is a batch of input samples. The bzith fundamental memory is obtained by concatenating the outputs of the bzith class base classifier evaluated at the m training samples and the l input samples. The bipolar RCAM is synthesized using the fundamental memory set u and it is initialized at the state vector z0. Note that the first n components of initial state z0 correspond to the targets in the training set t. The last l components of z0 are 0, a neutral element different from the class labels. Initial state z0 is presented as an input to the associative memory, and the last l components of the recall vector y gel the class label of the batch of input samples in the x set. Formally, is given by equation 11, where y is the limit of the sequence generated by the evolution equation 12 and the activation function 13. Also, in this work, we obtain some theoretical results. The bipolar RCAM base ensemble classifier can be viewed as a weighted majority voting classifier. Furthermore, the weight w xi depends on the similarity between the xi base classifier h xi and the ensemble classifier h a. In this sense, we obtain the following results. The weights of the RCAM base ensemble classifier satisfy the equation 14, where the similarity is evaluated on the union of all training and input samples. This theorem shows that the RCAM base ensemble classifier is a majority voting classifier whose weights depend on the similarity between the base classifier and the ensemble itself. Now, we present the settings of our computational experiments. Firstly, we use an exponential parameter, alpha equal to 1, for the RCAM model. Also, we optimize the exponential parameter to obtain a better performance using grid search with the values given in this set. Secondly, we use tenfold cross-validation on the training set. We compare the performances of Adaboost, gradient boosting, and random forest classifiers, the last one using 30 base estimators. The same random forest estimators are used in the RCAM model. We use 28 binary classification problems from the open ML repository. We use the simple imputer library from sklearn for the missing values and the standard scalar library to pre-process this data. Therefore, each feature is normalized by subtracting the mean and dividing by the standard deviation. Furthermore, since some datasets are unbalanced, we use the F measure to evaluate quantitatively the performances. Now, we present the results. In this table, you can see the F measures obtained from the ensemble classifiers using stratified tenfold cross-validation. The best results for each dataset have been typed using boldface. Note that the exponential RCIM-based ensemble classifier with grid search produced the largest F measures, 11 from 28 datasets. In the second group of results, we can see the Adabus classifier and identity RCNN model have the best results. 
observed that there exist some difficult problems. For example, blood transfusion with lower F1 measure and others like steel plates fault, in which Adapus method apparently overfit. Three of the, of the 28 problems were difficult to our model. For a very interpretation of the previous tables, here we present the box plot. To avoid magnitude issues between the responses, here we see the normalized box plot to confirm the table results, observing the better performance in research model. Noting that we have three outliers representing the three difficult problems. Now, we follow a Demsor's recommendation to compare multiple classifiers models using multiple datasets. The Friedman test rejected the hypothesis that there is no difference between the ensemble classifiers. To visualize this, we use Wilcoxon's rank test with a confidence level at 95%. Since the data have different origins and are very varied, we use a non-parametric statistical technique. The main hypothesis is to assume that the data do not come from a normal distribution. They are compared two by two in order to construct the diagram. An edge means that the classifier on the top statistically outperforms the classifier on the bottom. The outcome of this analysis confirms that RCAM based ensemble classifier statistically outperforms the other ensemble methods, ADA boost, gradient boosting, and random forest. Finally, we present the computational effort for every model using this box plot. Note that the most expensive method is identity RCAM based ensemble classifier, while the gradient boosting is the cheapest. The exponential RCAM based ensemble is less expensive than the ADA boost and quite comparable to the random forest classifier. Now the conclusions. This paper provides a bridge between ensemble methods and associative memories. We propose to combine the base predictor using an associative memory model. An associative memory should be able to retrieve a stored item from a corrupted or partial version of it. In an ensemble method, the memory model is designed for the storage of evaluation of the base classifiers. The associative memory is then fed by a vector with the target of training data as well as the unknown predictions. The output of the ensemble method is obtained from the vector retrieved by the memory. We shown that the RCAM model yields a majority voting classifier, whose weights are obtained by a recurrent consult and vote scheme. We observe that similar computational effort between the null models and the RCAM ensemble. The major burden is the grid search technique. Statistically, the RCAM ensemble outperform the traditional adapus, gradient boosting, and random forest classifiers. In the future, we plan to investigate further associative memory-based ensemble methods. In particular, we plan to extend these ensemble methods to multi-class classification problems using, for instance, multi-state associative memory models. Here are the main references. And thank you all for your attention.